Welcome, I'm the Computer Lab Teacher. One of the new features in Office 2010 is you can now customize your ribbon. What if you have customized your ribbon and you want to reset a specific ribbon tab or the entire ribbon? You will notice I have created my own tabs in my own custom groups. I have Teacher Tab 1, Group 1, Group 2, Group 3, Teacher Tab 2, Group 4, Group 5. And I am ready to reset it back to the default settings. To reset the ribbon, right click with your mouse button on the ribbon and select customize the ribbon. This will display the PowerPoint options dialog box and you will see customize ribbon selected on the left panel. If I move over to the customize the ribbon box you will see all the available commands within the program. If I move over here you will see all the available main tabs on the ribbon. You will notice my teacher tab 1 is expanded because this is the tab that is currently selected on the ribbon. You can choose to hide any tab you want on the ribbon. For this tutorial, you'll need to create customized tabs with your own groups. To learn how to do this, view the tutorial on how to customize the ribbon in PowerPoint. You will need to take the check out of the small box next to the tab name, and then move to the bottom of the list and click OK. You will see all the tabs are not showing on the ribbon. Right click on the ribbon and choose customize the ribbon. You can also remove a custom tab you have created. Simply click on the tab and click on the remove button. To reset all of your customizations for all the tabs, click on the reset button at the bottom of the list and select reset all customizations. This button will reset your ribbon and your quick access toolbar back to the default settings. You will notice a message asking you if you are sure you want to delete all ribbon and quick access toolbar customizations. You can click on yes or no. I will click no. If you click on yes, it will restore your ribbon and the quick access toolbar and remove all your custom groups and tabs. Remember to click OK to see all your changes on the ribbon. We hope you enjoy this tutorial. We'll see you soon in another one.